Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. We're on day five of our joke mod playthrough. Quite a meow, quite a storm rolled through the middle of that storm, lightning, whole bunch of thunder. Well, I'm assuming it was lightning. I was inside and couldn't see it, but you can tell by the skies, it looks like it just recently passed. So I made myself a forge, which you probably didn't see since I ran out the other door. Oh good, it's still raining and I'm moist. Anyway, so I made a forge. I need to make myself a workbench so I can make myself a steel club. So I was looking at the workbench here. If you get a destroyed workbench, then all you need is a ridiculous amount of parts. If not, you need to have the schematic for it. And then it doesn't take as many ridiculous amounts of parts. So one of the things I was thinking of is I'm not entirely sure if you can get a destroyed workbench from taking up part one that you've already seen. I'm just trying to keep an eye on things. So that's where the airdrop is, in case you didn't see the previous episode, which, if you're watching episode 5 and you didn't see episode 4, what are you doing, man? You're not watching them in order. Alright, Owen, come here. I need you to go ahead and lay down, take a little nap. Okay, we're going to go see Trader Doom. I want to see if I can get a job off to the west here. When I was down here last time, right around over here, somewhere, there's a shop, or at least a kind of a garage-looking thing that I think would make a good horde base. Uh, we're getting close to being that time here. We're, like I said, day five, day six, we should probably look into getting something going because, you know, day seven is not a good day to start working on a horde base. Uh, it can be done. The first horde's usually not horrible, but this is also the joke mod, so who the hell knows? So I want to see if he's got a job to the west. We can go do it, clear out that garage at the same time. Hey, what's up, dude? All right, do you have any jobs that are directly west? You have a southwest, which is kind of that direction. A a Lot country. You. You're welcome. I mean, do this for just anyone in the <laughs> you keep talking to me like that here. All right, so uh, we got to go right over here. So we might be able to go like, you know, right there. You know, with the sound effects and everything included. So, uh, Joe, is that you again? Joe, you give me... Game, you got me calling him the wrong names just because that's the name that pops up in his toolbar, or his life bar up there at the top. His name is Owen, and this is Sid. And both of y'all need to lay down. Also, I did use my skill point last night. I had a moment of dumb, and I'm sure somebody really pointed it out here. There is, where's it at here? Cardio, down here. I put one of my skill points into cardio. Under the fortitude. I always forget, for some reason, I keep thinking under agility is where cardio should go because, you know, that makes sense. But, you know, who knows, whatever. Anyway, so I put one into cardio, so maybe I can run two or three steps further than I used to be able to and not have to worry about getting all nice and uh, out of breath. What are you doing up there? Kind of got a weird float going on. I did make myself a bunch more plastic arrows. I cooked some meat, which I forgot to bring with me. But anyway, one of the reasons why I was saying the thing about the workbench is there's been one or two POIs we've gone into that's had a workbench, and I never bothered taking it apart. So I don't know if taking one apart would potentially give you one of those destroyed ones that I saw in the recipe list. And if so, that would be fantastic. That would be absolutely wonderful. Then all I have to do is just gather up the rest of the resources. Because I really want to get myself a steel club. That's a cool POI. I like that one. Lots of chickens. Alright, I need you guys to help me keep an eye out for any of the gooses. Geeses? Goosen! That like to yell at me. They are very mean. They're, they're not nice. They cuss me out. But I need to kill five of them as a quest for the traitor dude. Now, I've only seen the one that we saw episode two or three. Did I get you? I did. Okay, so here's the shop I was thinking about using. Let's keep an eye on things real quick. Maybe there's a workbench in here. Okay, so I've been in this shop before. This is not much to it. It goes back there. But I'm thinking I could use this to kind of do some pathfinding stuff. And might as well search in here and see what we got while we're here. Pipes. Okay, well, I had to use a chunk of those for the forge, so I'm not too unhappy about finding those. So anyway, I think what I might do is come over here, clear this out, come back, clear this out, and see if I can get it to work the way I want to. If I can mess with their... I, really, I hate to say mess with their pathfinding. If I can force them to pathfind in a direction I want them to go, then I think I would have a much better chance at a Horde Knight. Uh, success basically and I think I got you as well right I think I did that house or that house one of those two or maybe both of them hell I don't remember I've almost slept since then I didn't check this card though so I have not been this far over here this is just a clear it's a tier one uh scrap you and I'll take the glue so this shouldn't be too hard <laughs> you know I keep saying that 
One of these days, I'm going to remember, hey, words are going to get you killed. I have no ammo for the only gun that I have here. I'm going to end up needing to make myself a pipe shotgun just because it's the only gun, or it's the only thing I have any ammo left for. Keep an eye on things. Get an aerial view in case there's another feral cat running around here. Those things have caused me more problems than most of the other zombies. Keep an eye on all the things. There's a workbench right over there, so we'll check it. Maybe we can bust it apart, and maybe it'll give us a destroyed one. There's Lieutenant Dan and Tom hanging out together. Maybe Lieutenant Dan's discussing his uh, business venture idea with the businessman here. He's got some shrimping ideas. Uh, we'll go up here in just a second. Check see if we can get some gas in here. Sweet. Crack into here. Maybe we'll get something good. So, anyway, hope you guys are enjoying this series. I've recorded five. This is the fifth one in a row that I'm re what that I'm recording here. So, oh, I'm going to hurt myself if I don't quit doing stupid things. Nice. The sledgy schematic. Don't need it, but I'll read it. Take you. And take you. Can't do anything with that for a while. I've got a decent chunk of actual gasoline, so that would be fantastic if I could get, you know, something to put it in. Ooh, there's a chicken. Probably would not be a horrible thing to get some more chicken meat since I cooked up what I had last time. Keep an eye on things with teeth that want to eat you. We have bobcats and mountain lions here. Oh, somebody's going to get one right in the tizzent. Oh, Edgar, I'm sorry, dude. I know that had to hurt. Can I have my arrow back? I just ruined your party plans with old Jiggles here, didn't I? <laughs> well, maybe she's into, you know, involuntary piercings. I don't know. I'm not one to judge. Hey, that counts for clearing it out. Nice, got some more rocks. We needed a bunch of those for the forge as well. A plastic fire axe. Okay, so this one's a three and this one's a three. This one's better, so I'll just take you and take the wood. Okay. Nobody bother me for just a second. We'll go up there and get the rest of that in a minute. I want to bust this apart and see if you can get the quote-unquote destroyed one here to see if I can use that towards the recipe I need to make my own. Okay, well, we didn't get a workbench, at least not that I can see in my inventory here, so we didn't get one that way. Not to say you can't get one from that way, but we didn't get one from that one. Uh, hang on. Somebody's coming to say hi to us. Or to the fence, at least. I'll check the trash first. Ew, some more squishy bits in there. Anyway, like I said, I've been recording a bunch of these in a row here since I'm trying to do... Hold on, he doesn't see me. Peckerhead. <laughs> I'm trying to do a bunch of these in a row because I'm going to try to do this series every day of the week for a week or two until we get into a new game kind of thing, you know? And so I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this. If you're this far into the video and you are... Oh, lovely. Uh, throw a thumbs up on the video. Leave me a like if you would. What's up, Lois? Hi. Hi. See, she says hi. If you're nice to the zombies, they say nice things back to you. She gets all excited and even goes, ah, if you make her laugh. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. Check these for a little bit of gas. It's nice that these actually give gas. In vanilla, anytime you see barrels, you have a high likely chance of just, wait a minute. Hang on. Let me down. Let me down. Got to get some. Raw candy, baby. That's fantastic. I love that. That's absolutely awesome. It's only five, but you know what? It's freaking candy. Rock candy in real life is pretty sweet. I like, well, uh, figuratively and literally, I guess. Uh, plastic tool schematic. Well, I already have like most of them, but we have two batons here. I wonder if either one of those are better than the club we have. All right, so you're a 16 and a half. You're at a 19.3, and you're at a 15.1, so I can scrap you for certain. Probably repair you just to kind of see where you end up. Pistol would be great if I had some ammo, but it's I don't know if it's any better than that one. 16. Okay, so there's a lot going on down there. I don't know what, what all they're doing, but it sounds like there's a small gathering outside. Whoa, calm down. I want to crack into here real quick. And then I'm going to start heading back towards Trader. We need to try and get the bicycle because I want to go get the airdrop and see if we get anything good for that too. More lockpicks, great. Frames, mechanical parts, and headlight. All right, who is that making all that noise? Go all three stooges mode here. Get both of you in the face at the same time. Uh-oh. Power swing and hit the door frame. That's always good. Good usage of your stamina there. Let's play a little ring around the barrels here. Oh, you're going to cheat and go up at the top. Well, I'm going to hit you right in the naughty bits. Or maybe that was a knee shot. I don't know. 
No. No touchies. Okay, I got that. Can't search that. Let's check around over on this side. Just make sure I didn't miss anything here. And I think that's pretty much it. Wait, I didn't search the bus, really? Oh, I think I saw a zombie in the shop or something. I don't Maybe I got excited and distracted at the same time. Who knows? And I didn't check that either. Okay, headlight off. I see Lois wandering around. She looks like she's stumbling home from a late night. I do want to go check this mailbox, though, just in case they have something in there that's worth reading. Like you. What do you have? Learn and craft a variety of good-looking, versatile footwear. Um, I don't remember which boots I'm currently wearing. Another ice cream truck, which I think we got once before. I mean, obviously we've done more than one ice cream truck. But I think we got that specific one is more or less what I meant. Okay, so I think this right here, this might be the shop. I'm not going up there. I'm pretty sure I went up there too. So I think this is the shop. And if it is, it's not one that I've used in a specific series before. Wait a second. Hang on. What do we got going on here? Bad learner. What? Is it because my stench is getting to a certain height that all of a sudden it just... I, I don't know. Why? Why am I a bad learner? I didn't do anything wrong this time. I have some soap at the house if you insist I use some. You know what? I'll just take you with me and drink one of these. How about that? Let's see if there's anything good in here. Come on, schematic. Rocks is not bad. Pallet of plywood. All right, there's Glenn. There's, <laughs> there's the drinking Glenn. <laughs> Comes stumbling out of the closet. Oh, there's three of them. Huh. It's the arrival of the janitors again. Well, always kind of cool, I guess. A rare sight. Oh, nice. He brought a gift, too. Nutshot. Oh, we'll do another one. There we go. Let's see if he brought us anything fun. Paper, hat, no. Scrap you, scrap you, and shotgun shells. Yep, I'm going to have to make myself a pipe shotgun just to be able to handle all the ammo that this game's given me for guns I don't have. Do you work? No. All right, so I wouldn't even have to bust this open because they could technically get through there. I need to remove this because they'll walk up and punch it, and that will absolutely blow a hole in my future base here. I should probably make myself a land claim block and put it down here if I'm going to get this going as the actual base, but I'll get it looted first. Some iron, not bad. And working stiff tools. Let me see, what did we get here? 25% less damage to enemies. Hold on, craft fireman's axe. 25% more damage to blocks. That could be good if I can make a craft uh, uh, fireman's axe. Nice. Like you, 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 and you. Leave this. Leave that squishy, nasty stuff behind. We don't need it. Ooh, nice. Go ahead and just drink you. And I'll take the other ones with me too. Nice. I like being able to just randomly drink that water. It makes life very, very, very pleasant to not have to worry about trying to cook everything. I can just drink whatever the game gives me. Security cameras. Motion sensor. Seven glue. That's nice. Use that to make some duct tape. That's not too bad. Trigger delay and duration. Was he had anything in here with him? No. I'm going to guess more. Ooh, we got some wine. And a little bit of water. Sweet. We can celebrate later on. So anyway, if you're this far in the video and you're enjoying it, do me a favor and leave a like on it. You know, like I said, and I, I try to mention that because sometimes people forget. And people always like, oh, yeah, I forgot until you reminded me. So I throw a little reminder in when I can. See if I can help you guys out. But yeah, this is the first time I've been this far ahead on a series um, before you guys have really even seen the first video, like, ever. So I'm really hoping that by the time you guys even see this video, that the first video is doing fantastic. Frank is trying to get into the junkyard. Dude, there's a door right over the... Oh, look, you almost had it, man. Try again. I have faith in you. I don't know. I thought I heard some flappy dudes bouncing around. A bunch of stupid birds. Nothing over here. Oh! Nothing over there. <laughs> okay, so I think this shop will work here. I think I could probably make myself a land claim block so I don't have to go all the way back home to get the one that the game gave me. It won't take me very long to do it. While it's doing its thing, we can run in here and beat old Frank in the face a little bit. What's up, dude? Ew. What are you doing, man? Wait. You sound like a pig. You, you do. You sound like a, a squealing pig, man. And what is up with all the weird collapsing sounds you're making? I'm just beating on your sack. Just a little bit too much, man. You'd almost think I enjoy it. 
or you enjoy it. One of us is enjoying it way too much here. Look, he's just like showing it to me. He's like, hey, hit me there one more time. Okay, so that's why I needed to get up to the roof because there's a thing there. So scrap that. I don't need the crushed sand. I don't have a cement mixture anyway. Okay, let's go back up there and try not to do this the dumb way. If at all possible. So what I'm thinking about doing here, because it's kind of worked before and it's kind of my thing, uh, is bust down some of this rail, make a pathway going out to over there, which I need to get over there anyway, which I can get in through the roof, get this backpack. Extend that along the way so I have a place to kind of hang out and chill. So they have to go around all this, up the stairs over here and into a single path over here. And I can make some obstacles so it's a little difficult and get them to go on a straight line to me and I can sit there and just beat them in the face all day, every day. That's the that's the plan. All right, so I think there's a ladder I saw in here. One, yeah, okay, so there's a ladder in here. What's up, Glenn? Wake, hang on, make sure that's the only dude in here. Hey, he's not the only one in here. Oh, nice. Come on, ammo. That's not what I need. I don't have a crossbow. Why are you giving me ammo? For dude, stop hitting my package. <laughs> that's not what Frank said. You have dill hole. Okay, we got another skill point. Is there anything else back here? And I'm hungry. You better have some food back here because I didn't bring any for some reason. Maybe need some coffee? Uh, hold on. Ectox famous microwave tea bag. Can I make it the most delicious way to tea? Now I'm made in the microwave. Okay, that's weird. I say weird as if everything else in this game isn't also weird. Uh, sure, I guess I'll take you. Let me tell you what. I Have I found any cans of food yet? Not one can of food? I guess I'll eat a potato. Just kind of bump it up over the... Hey, he's growling because he's a whiny little person. Oh, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten except for an entire potato. And a stack of meat. Anything good in the toilet? Eh, we'll take the nasty water. We can just drink it like a manly man. There's no food in here at all. Oh, nice. That's not too bad, though. And another empty can. Any, and all of these shelves are empty. Fantastic. All right. Well, I need you to give me something really good. And then we'll go up there, get the backpack, head back over to Trader Dude, turn this quest in, swing by the house, drop off some stuff, eat some meats that we cooked up. Another beaker. Hey, some cement's not bad. It could be good. Electrical parts. Nice. That's a, that's a decent haul. I'm not unhappy about that at all. I did not search this. More stuff. I wonder if perchance... I want to take this apart real quick and see if I get anything useful for it. Like, you know, a broken one that I can use to build one. That would be kind of cool. Okay, we did not get a broken one when we tore that apart here. So I have a skill point I should probably use. I typically end up doing all this at night because I can sit here and kind of cuss and discuss with myself. And uh, let me see, Fortitude probably wouldn't be a, hor a horrible thing. A horrible? You get better headshot damage, get a best chance to dismember with stuff I'm not using, but then I can try and get my cardio up. I need it to be in level four. Ah, oh, level four, that's a lot of points. That's a lot of points that I really want to use when I could bust it into strength and start doing some more better melee damage here. I'm going to do that. Oh, that hurts. Okay, so I need, let me see, strength level five to do one more level of Pummel Pete. Get that high enough so that when we do get to a point where I can make the steel club, I'm not starting off with a level one. Okay, well, let's get up top. Not fall off the building again, if at all humanly possible. Can I just squat down and get... You? Yeah, nice. Something good. Pa okay, well, those are good. Can, those are crap. No sell price. There's not even worth... Let me up, stupid. Okay, don't hurt yourself. Okay, that hurt a little bit. We're okay. Dumb things are happening here. We'll go to the trader first. That way I can see if I have anything I want to sell. If I happen to see a workbench sticking out somewhere, I'll go check it out on the way over here. But I really don't think, like, between here and right over there, we're going to find one. Did I? Oh, I did search you. Hey, this is the exact same path I've come, like, multiple times now. I know I'm hungry here. Eat the last potato and stop whining. There. Are you happy now? You've eaten two full potatoes in, like, ten minutes. That should technically hold you over for a good while. Fatality. Okay, I hope Trader Dude's gonna give me something good for this quest. And I hope, actually, that I'm finished with this quest. And he can give me a bike. Hi. Your line got cut off here. Ammo. Oh, 9mm. Oh, that's fantastic. 
Both of those are nice, but 100 rounds in 9mm? Yes. Dang it. He still don't have another one. Okay. Uh, buried supply. I don't even have a crap shovel here, so let me see which one's closest. A fetch. A job for someone of you. I can't think. Yeah, of yeah, yeah. Okay. Was there? Ooh, there's a workbench here. All right, let's try it and see if we can get a broken one here. Okay. Well, it didn't look like it, so 0 for two here. All right, I do want to see real quick if I can sell anything to him. I want to hang on to that because I might use it now. I got a chunk of ammo. I'm selling this beaker. I have like nine of them at the house. I'll probably regret that eventually. I didn't put down my land claim block. Guys, why did y'all not tell me that? I mean, it's your job to remind me when I'm about to do something stupid. And that's about all I have this worth Yeah, I will. Man, it's bright in here. You got like a 200-watt bulb in there. I know, I know. It's my fault. Okay, so I need to get home, drop off this stuff real quick. The next place he wants us to go is down the road. So we'll hit up home, eat some meats, top off our meters, empty our backpack, and then run down there clear that out. And also, I need to run by and put a land claim block in that. So tomorrow, day six, I probably need to work on clearing out all the junk laying around and then try to start getting the basics of how I want it laid out for the actual horde itself. So day seven comes along. We can do, you know, all our high level killings and everything. We're not just frantically trying to get everything done at the last minute. But should we get to day seven and we don't actually have it ready... If I have at least some of it done, it really won't take that long. That's one of the nice things about the way I always go about building bases is that they're they're what some people would call simple, but they're not too difficult. Hello? Hang on. Okay. So eat some boiled meat. Make sure there's nothing bad here. Okay. Don't poop yourself. Please don't poop yourself. Okay. Put you over here. Take my extra meats I have with me. I still haven't got very many eggs. You better not be beating on my base. All right, y'all hang on for just a second. Let me drop some stuff off real quick. I'm going to eat this chicken soup, and I hope I don't poop myself to death because that'll just make everything go down a way lot faster. A way lot faster. That's that's the proper wording there. Okay, since we got some ammo now, let me get this reloaded in case I need it. It's not the greatest, and that level one pistol I got might be better. I don't know. We'll just have to see when we get to that point. Let me out of the hole. I'm moist. How? It's not even raining. I was just in there standing next to a fire. Okay. Maybe I'm just really excited. I guess I don't know. So am I going to that house right there? I don't know if I ever searched this car. I did. Check some mail. Actually, I'm almost certain that I went down this street and then hooked a right the first time he sent us over here. So I'm pretty sure I got most of the mailboxes here. But if we see any we don't have, we'll definitely check those out. Are we good for half a second? Okay, so so far... The joke mod is absolutely fantastic, but we haven't encountered anything that's just overpowered yet. And eh, that's not what I meant to do. I haven't come across... I mean, the bobcats are hard to hit because they're small, but they're not impossible to kill if you can get a little bit of elevated position. And combat health recovers one, point, one hit point for every punch. Well, that's not horrible. If I had to switch over to just straight up melee to get a little bit of health back, that's not too bad. And it's only one per punch, and I can throw a couple of haymakers real quick and top some things off. We'll check the utility truck real quick. I hope that this is the last one we have to do for him before we get the bike. What do you have? Robotic turret into a makeshift shotgun? Craft robotic turret shells. Okay. Spotlight's good. Battery and some headlights. Not bad. Eventually, I'm going to need that stuff to be able to build what I actually want, like a motorcycle. Oh, that's a, that's a decent sized house right here. I got to keep an eye out for pets. Oh, good. It's foggy on that side. It's coming this way. It's coming right for us. There's a, there's one of the, oh, nice. There's a couple eggs. I can make some bacon eggs with that. There's an actual perk under here, under the joke thing. It's called us coming right for us, which is like from uh, South Park. At least that's what I think of here. But I was like, ah, 5% more damage to the custom entity. So clowns, skeletons, things like that that are unique to this POI you get an extra 5% damage. So I'm like, man, I don't know if I would want to waste a uh, skill point to do 5% extra damage to those. Now, on top of me saying that, I have also not encountered anything really, really difficult yet. So, I don't necessarily know if eventually I'm going to be like, well, I wish I would have, you know, that sort of thing. I remember this house. The floor collapsed. I'm almost certain it goes down there. And if I jump on that right there, it's going to fall out from underneath me. Let's do that. Scoochy, scoochy over here. And we don't have to worry about waking anybody else that's sleeping down here. Like him right there. Oh, right, let's see if we... Uh-oh. 
Hang on, don't wake your buddy up real quick. I gotta reload. You're slow. There we go. Killed him! Nice! Set fire skeleton dude. Mr. Bone. Okay, you're not too bad. Give him back my arrow, man. Just straight up took it with him to the other world. Okay, so this is a fetch. I need to remember to actually look look for the supplies. I've been doing a lot of clearings. Money! Uh, yeah, money, money is good. Money, money. I've been doing basic clearing, so I may get inside here and then realize, hey, by the way, you completely forgot to get the one thing you came here for. Okay, we didn't get the one-shot kill on him, but we blew off an arm, and somehow or another, it got bloody. Okay. That works. The skeleton is bleeding. Fan freaking tastic We good in here? We are good in here. Alright, let's rummage through here and see if we can't find... Ooh, a crucible! Another crucible? Oh, that reminds me. I need a cooking pot. The, okay, so apparently the crucibles are the obvious things now. Crap sack fuel? That's gross. Crucibles are the obvious easy things to find, and cooking pots are apparently hard, because... I mean, although in the Winter Warrior series, I was in, like, episode 12 before I finally found one. That was a little bit ridiculous. How about some money? That's some money. All right. It's not a ton, but it's a little bit. Um, because I need a... What do I need here? It's backwards. So, in normal vanilla, you need a crucible to make all the good stuff in the forge. In this one, the crucible goes in the campfire, and you use it... You need to make that for bacon and eggs, basically. But now you have to have a cooking pot in the forge in order to be able to make forged steel. Uh, let me see. Okay, so I think that door is technically locked and it wants me to go this way. We didn't get much sneak damage for that, for bonking him. Got the old bonkaroo here. Are you dead? Who dat? What's up, Jiggles? You coming to see me? Hey, stop showing off everything you have here. This is... We're trying to keep it kind of sort of family friendly. <laughs> I think that ship sailed a long time ago. The first time the goose cussed us out. Pretty sure we already went ahead and tripped right on past that one. But, you know, it's at least nice to try. Oh, I guess I can turn that back on so you guys can see. Uh, this, uh, no, nah, I'm not taking you. I have not taken any sand with me so far, and I don't plan on changing that until I need it. Uh, I can take you, scrap you, take you, and take you. I used a bunch of clay and a bunch of, um, the other thing, lead. A skull cap. Mm, no, not going, not going to bother with you. Okay, I, I need you to scoochies. Can, can you do that for me? Give you the old scoochie. Okay, thanks for the scoochies. Let's move over here and go up that direction. Let's check the garment bag first. Ooh, regular old rags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody's downstairs. That's a lot of brass. I did throw a chunk of, let me see, I put iron, brass, and, oh yeah, there's somebody behind that thing. Iron, brass, and lead inside my forge over there so that it can start cooking it down so we can start making some things here. Hey, what's up? You did not last very long. Hang on. Come on up. Okay, you're you're not ready to come back up yet. All right. So the crucible thing we need, or not the crucible, the uh, thingy. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The uh, satchel, the package, the loot, the thing, the freaking supplies. That's what I'm looking. For. God. Yeah. Some days words are hard. Some days words are freaking hard. So the thing I need there is actually below me. I need to make sure I go get that. Again, I need to make sure I don't forget it. I got you. Got ready. Got you. Whoops. Hang on. Now what I mean? Okay, well, I guess I'm going to scrap it then. Is that a plunger? Wait a minute. Hold on. There's a melee thing that's a plunger? That does 13.8. So this does better, but that's fantastic. Okay, I'll take all the rest of that. That's cool. Appreciate that. What are you? Premium dog food. Uh, let's see if we get lucky. Don't poop yourself. Yeah, nice. Plus 20 on the old... Uh, 20 on the old food there. Let's check Savage Garden, see if there's anything good in here. Ooh, a book we don't have. 10% more damage to wolves. Okay, fantastic. Some perception goggles. Glass. Let me see. Let's slap you on real quick. 
what did that put our perception up to anyway? Let's see, that put it up to three, so that's pretty good. Uh, the only thing we've been putting points in perception to start with is just Lucky Looter, which I could put another point into that when I get it. We're almost there. Uh, we've been getting some decent loot. I can't complain about the loot in this game. Uh, I don't remember if there's anything up there. No, there's not. Okay, let's go downstairs and see what everybody's making a big kerfuffle over. All right, so the thing we need is in here. Uh, oh, that I can see the seam of the wall. Wait, no, that is right. Hang on. There it is. Okay, so I can see it. Looks like there's just a painting on the other side or something. Cool. All right, we got what we need, and we can get up out of here. Uh, did I drop in the garage? I don't think I dropped in the garage. I think I went around that. Which, if I remember, is on the other side. We got a deer. We got, let me see, there's Sylvia, Edgar, Bo. Let me see, we need to go that direction. So let's just go that direction. Not too worried about you guys right at the moment. Although, I tell you what, I'm going to come over and deal with you guys because I could use the experience. Whoops. One of the, I think having our XP up at 200% for the first horde night is going to be pretty fat. What the hell is that thing over there? Oh, it's a snail. Okay. I only saw the tail end of a thing sticking out there, so I didn't know what that thing was. It's one of those snail trails. Which, if you don't know what a snail trail is, don't Google it. It's just don't. Especially if you're a younger person and watch my videos, don't Google snail trail. Tell your parents I said not to. It's, it's it's not something you need to know. I'm sure you may or may not learn eventually, depending on which route in life you decide to take, but you don't need to know it if you're a young person. And if you're an older person and you know what it is, yeah, high five. <laughs> That's wrong, I think. All right, well, let's march our happy butts all the way down over here. I do need to run over and put the uh, land claim block in my shop so everything doesn't respawn again. If we get rid of Arlene here, this may level us up. Yep, there we go. Level 14. What's up, Mr. Bone? There we go. All right. Cleared up a little bit. Got another Marlene over here. We'll go take care of her real quick. Hold on, I'm low on stamina again. Man, I need to put another freaking point into stamina. Or into... Yeah, stamina. So I can run more than just a couple feet without whining about being tired. Well, somebody left Joel's door wide open. Well, you're a sight for sore eyes. I'm a good-looking dude. No, we're ammo Helmolite yeah. mods. I guess the ammo would be good because we got the gun. Please, 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 please. Oh, you suck. You suck really bad, man. All right, let me see if I can sell you anything here. So we got 3,500 monies now. Let's see if perchance that will bring us anything useful. He doesn't reset for two more days. That would be kind of cool to have a gyrocopter early on, but I'm also realistic and realize that's probably not going to happen. Uh, let's see. Oh, I had the fanny pack I did buy. I put that on as well. Spear hunter. Uh, no. Bicycle chassis. If I'm going to have to, if I'm going to get one for free, I don't need to, I don't need to build my own pretty much. And uh, did you restock any ammo that would be useful? I already have some. Well, those are bolts. I can't use those anyway. I uh, guess not. Do you have any... An organ grinder? Oh, that's for the... Oh, yeah. Okay, I remember looking at that. That's not new. All right. Well, you don't really have anything that's just, like, fantastic to buy here. Again, you you're, you kind of suck. You, Survivor. Yeah. Check back soon. I get new merchandise daily. Yeah, I know. I'll be back in... Well, I'll be back tomorrow because I need to. But what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to run over and I'm going to drop this land claim block off in our shop. So when we do get ready to start working over there, it's not going to be uh, overrun with idiots here. But we'll take care of Bozo real quick. What's up, Bose? Come at me, bro. Bonk. Well, we ran out of stamina gun. Looks like Tom was over there doing a, his level of inspection here to kind of give us some quotes on insurance for the place. Because, you know, got to have a little bit of liability insurance in case somebody falls and hurts themselves. Lots of rusty metal and stuff in here. He's just doing his job. We're not here to interrupt or intervene. We just we let him do what he's got to do, and then we move on and do our own thing here. All right, so let me see. Where did I put you? Put you over here. 
no, that's probably not a good idea to put you right there. If I put you up on the ceiling... Uh, how about right there? Doom, doom, doom. Okay, so we got... That should protect at least the inside of that, and... Um, I'll probably just need to move the path for them idiots to wander around over here later on. You keep doing you, plant. You keep doing you. Well, okay then. Let me see. Let me double check, make sure I got this dumpster. I did not. Ooh, that was totally worth it. Was there anything on this roof that's worth getting? Let me up. Okay, fine. Here. Uh, let me see. Can I do this? That's that's more effort I want to put into that right now. Okay, we're going to head home. I need to top off some food. I need to get some more things made. I did search you. You're good. Not too far from home. I'm hoping maybe one more good task for Trader Dude. And he'll give us a bike. We, we need a bike. I want to go get the... The store's not open, y'all. I need to... Uh, I'm, oh, yeah. Oh, crap. I'm out of stamina. Don't hit me. Back up, lady. I need to go get the airdrop because I want to see what's there. Uh, by the time we actually get a bike and can make our way over there, there's going to be a second airdrop somewhere. Okay, give us a chance. Our stinkiness is at 10%. Hang on. Are you dead? Let's go deal with Mr. Bone real quick. Oh, you're lucky. You showed me all of that you had here, and I didn't get to hit you. Come on, eggs. Or feathers. Okay, so hang on real quick. Why I got you guys here, in case you get ready to click off the video. Don't do it, man. I want to go inside and show you. Okay, so my stank meter is up at 10 now. It's high enough now to where I should probably do something about that. I don't know if your stench meter affects your stamina. I don't think so. It doesn't look like it messes up with the max stamina thing here. But I have right here a urinal cake. It removes ghastly stink level 2. You know those little cakes at the bottom of your... Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. They remove a lot of stink. Okay, so it doesn't say anywhere on here that it does anything negative if you eat one. Ew, that sounded negative. Hang on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to eat this so you guys can witness if it tells me I'm stupid again. Huh. A positive experience and not dying. Oh, okay, cool. All right, well, that's... I'm sure now you guys are like, uh-huh, sure. That's. I'm sure that's what made you all dumb last time was that. Dude! Wait, where does that go? I should probably investigate the outside area of this building a little bit better if there's a ladder that these idiots can climb up and get right to me. Okay, you know what? Owen, thank you. I appreciate... Oh, my God, that has got a lot of durability. Okay, well, if I can get at least the bottom rung of this gone, then they can't get up there. I need to get rid of those boxes so they can climb up on top of there, too. But that's pretty much going to be it. We're going to wrap this one up as I'm chopping away at this. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, new videos will be coming out next week, of course. Day 6 will be on Monday-ish. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. If you're not already, so you don't miss out on future videos, of course. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you later.